So let's, talk, let's get started with maps. Now last year, we introduced Nearby, a great way to find places and transit with an incredible amount of detail, including all the entrances and exits from every station. But for iOS 10, we've got an all new design for maps. It starts with making it easy to access controls and details on locations. And we're making maps do more for you in advance. It's more proactive. So you slide up from the bottom and you can see suggestions. Maps knows that usually at this time, I usually go to work. Or it can look at a calendar event and find a location. It also gives you convenient ways to filter down on the places you might want to go. For example, let's take a look at restaurants nearby. But we're in San Francisco, I feel like seafood, so I can slide across the bottom, and now I can see all the seafood restaurants right in San Francisco. Now we're applying all of these new designs to navigation as well. So you get more information, it makes it easier to follow and control, and we even include traffic on route. Now when you're driving, it'll automatically zoom in, and as you get to a long straightaway, it'll automatically zoom back out. And you can even pan and zoom way further ahead to see what the traffic conditions are. Now we give you quick controls to let you see route details, so now you can even look and see on your route where food or gas stations are, and maps will tell you how much longer it'll take if you go to any one of those. And of course, we're making this available on CarPlay. And if there's a lot of traffic ahead, Maps will proactively give you alternate routes and tell you how much time it'll save. And we're making it safer to follow directions while keeping your eyes on the road, because now you can get turn by turn right in the instrument cluster of your car. Now, we think you're going to love these updates, but there's more, because we are opening Maps up to developers. Now, with map extensions, you can enable all new capabilities in Maps. For example, you can make a reservation using a popular app like OpenTable. You pick the number of people, the time, right inside of Maps. And because these are extensions, they're open to dev all developers around the world, like Ding, Ding An Ping in China, and Zomato around many countries around the world. And when you're ready to leave, you tap on directions, and now you're offered the new option to book a ride. And with app extensions like Uber, you can pick any kind of car, pay for it with Apple Pay, and see the status. So again, I can find a restaurant, I can book a reservation, I can request a car, I can pay for it, and I can see when it's going to arrive, all without leaving maps. And these extensions are open to all developers. Here's the Chinese ride service app, Didi, and that is Maps.